His Worship the Mayor of Wellington introduces the final Churchill auction for patriotic fun. The Churchill auction originated with this book, D.V. Britannicae, being a remark upon the lives of all the kings of this isle by Sir Winston Churchill Knight. Autographed by Sir Winston's descendant, Mr. Winston Churchill, and by New Zealand's Prime Minister. Dedicated to His Most Sacred Majesty, Charles II, and now lot 309 in this sale. Originally, only the Churchill book was to be auctioned, but now dominion-wide book auctions have been organized, and as a result, patriotic funds are to benefit by well over 3,000 pounds. Here is one of the last batches of the ergot which was gathered last summer. This important medicinal fungus was collected from grasses all over New Zealand in response to urgent appeals from Britain. The batch is well mixed and a fair sample taken for a say and ground in a mill. Each fungus looks very like a blackened grass seed. The powdered material is weighed out into glass tubes before ergot can be used by doctors. Its exact strength must be known. The tubes are put into extractors, each of which is simply a superior design of coffee percolator. The liquid dripping down through the powder is ether and is dissolving out the important medicinal alkaloids which the ergots contain. After five hours of percolating, the ether solution of the drug is transferred to separating funnels and the unwanted constituents are progressively removed. All drugs must conform to international standards of purity and strength. One test of the strength of ergot in use here is the depth of cover it produces in a special reagent. But the most sensitive test known is given by the effect of a measured dose on a standardized cockerel. If the dose is up to strength, it causes two or three points of the comb to turn slightly blue. The test completes the work of the collectors and the chemists, and so we can say that these New Zealand cockerels earn their daily corn by helping to safeguard the lives of the mothers of Britain. Harvards and Kitty Hawks of the Royal New Zealand Air Force are threading their way amongst the coastal clouds. They're out on target practice, the Kitty Hawks with their machine guns and the Harvards with bombs. Down they come again. Any bit of water they make a dive for is soon pretty dangerous for shipping. New Zealand is well equipped and dangerous to her enemies. But if would-be invaders do come, Prominent amongst their attackers will be the land-based aircraft which guard these coasts. 